Chag HaShvuis. Comes Pesach. You can eat wherever you want. Your dining room, your living room, the kitchen. But you can't eat whatever you want. You can only eat matzah and potato starch. If you're Lubavitch, you can also eat some uh, beets and some uh, some potatoes. <laughs> it comes sukkahs, you can eat whatever you want. But you have to eat it. You have to eat it only in the sukkah. <laughs> True is you can eat whatever you want, wherever you want. It's only one day. But it's two days. Uh, it's two days in Chutz, Lord. It's why is it? But at, least, but at least they're making the variety. There the is no sveik in the yoyim here. Right, that's why the second day is, is, is avada. It's not a sveik, like I told you, in the chsam sveik. Okay. So the shaila is, what's so special about the blintzes on Chag is that uh, oh, the, the, the cheese, the lekech toiv, nasati lochem, it's very sweet. The vash v'chol of tachas l'shoinech, there's like honey and milk under your tongue. What's so special about the blintzes? How do you got the that, uh, that, yeah, there's 101 reason for the blintzes and the cheesecake, but what is so, why is it, simple kasha that I've asked, why is it that it's so important to have blintzes and cheesecake and, and, and food and drink on this chag, which is l'choyda, spiritual. It's all about Kabbalah Zatoyda. They have a shul, they have at night, they have learning 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 o'clock. They, they have shachis, and 5 o'clock is blintzes. It's amazing. Yes, no, it's I a rush. 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 Uh, 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 no, it's the Gansen Tashin. It's a big What's the big What's the custom become How many years is it? How many years is it? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Be sure the time a the Omar be sure said Simchas Yom Tov Nami Mitzvah he that the Simchas Yom Tov is a mitzvah. The Tanya Rebbe does it. I'm ain't loy laodem Yom Tov ala oyochel v'shoisa oyoyisha v'shoina. You pick what is special for you on Yom Tov. Do you want to eat and drink or learn Mishnah and Gemara? Be sure I'm a chalkeyu. No, you do both. Chetz yolachi lavachesh tiyeh vachetz lavayis amadrish. Half for eating and drinking, half for the base of man. The Shomer of Yerich Hamashtem, Mikre Chador Chuks of Echod, and one pasuk it says, "Atzeres la Shomer lekecho," that you have to stop and turn to the Eibush. So that Katzeres te lachem, you stop for yourself. Rebbe does this over the Kula la Shomer Kula lachem. You pick which experience you want to have, your own pleasure, the Eibush's pleasure. You want to eat and drink, or you want to learn Mikre Mishnah. Rabbi Yeshua Sober, Chalkeyu, Chetzi Lashem, Chetzi Lachem, both Psukim are right. Half the time is Lashem and half you have Lachem. Om Rabbi Lazar. Hako, Om Rabbi Lazar. Hako, Moidim, Batzer, Zabin, and Amel Lachem. Everyone is Moidim when it comes to the Chag of Atzeris, which is Shruz, that you also have to have Lachem. It can't be just Lashem. They have a marathon of learning for 24 hours. Not allowed to do that. You have to have eating and drinking. My time. It's the day of giving a Torah. The first night or the second night? We stay all night. First night. First night. It's different from the other holidays. Uh, the oh. night, but the other holidays. <laughs> we're still uh, we're reading. Uh, I, I say holidays. That's what we're going to talk about. What's well, the difference of the other? Stay up in heaven, both nights. Mar Beit Rabina, Reb Hillel Paracher, because Shavuos is two nights. He said, why the first? He used to be up both nights and say, oh, the whole tick in both nights. Both nights. Yeah. Oh, wow. There are people like that. Yeah. Well, if you want to be Mechazek, you know, just do the Don Baroni or El Baba, just start at 10 o'clock. You have to start the nets in Davening. So you can get some sleep, otherwise it's 10.30. 10.30. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's continue. So the Gemara like says a story. Yeah. Every day in his life he fasted. Dvar, Matzerto, Puria, Mali, Yom Kippur, three days he didn't fast. Shavuos, Purim, and Erev Yom Kippur. Atzeret, Yom Shin, my Torah. Ashavuos, because the day of giving the Torah. Pura, yeah, when it comes to Purim, you may miss the Vesimcha. Siv, Mali, Yom Kippur, Erev Yom Kippur, Tanya, Bechir, Barav, Medifti, Venisa, Meshnaf, Shasech, Batis, Lachoidish. Batis, Shemesan, of Lubasor, Mesan. It says you should fast on the ninth day. You don't fast on the ninth day of Tishri, you fast on the tenth day. El Eloi Melech to tell you, Kol Oichel Vashoyis, Abit Tishri, Bimala, Vakazakila, Mazana. Tishri, Ve'asiri. 
If you eat on Erev Yom Kippur, it's as if you fasted for two days. So that's what he ate, because on that day, fasting is not going to help. To eat is considered like you fast. Yeah, good. Rabbi Yosef, when Rabbi Yosef came the day of Atzeres, the day of Shavuos, Omar, of the Eglet Lisoi, make for me, he would say to his family, a fancy dish from Eglet Lisoi, from this fat calf, that that was delicious roast. This was brisket, shebe brisket. Oh. This was delicious, shebe delicious, fatty, no. shebe fatty. It was a duck. Marble, shebe marble. Omar, Eloi, ha, yoy, medekagorim, kama, yoysef, ike, beshuka. There's a lot of people in the street, their name is Yosef. But the, because of Torah, I became special. That's the Gemara. Now, Lamaisa, if you look in the Alter Bishachonar Chsim and Tovkov Chavtesif Yud, next paragraph, Alter Bish says, Even though it's a mitzvah to eat and drink on the Moed, you shouldn't eat and drink a whole day. You get a stomachache. It says that Atzeres is false with Abish. Alter Bish Hamish said, Say Lachem. That they go to shul, they daven. Shachris musaf, they go home and they eat. Then they go home and they eat. Then they go home and they eat. Then they go home and they go home and they eat. They come back to the shul and they learn. In the Novi and the Agoda until Chatzoy Sayem, they'll come Chetzel Hashem. Back after the Shabbat and the Mincha, the Chayz and the they go back home. Leichel v'lishtas l'smoya simchas yom tov shor ha'yoyim ad alayla. K'day l'kayim Chetzel Hashem. V'achshav shemaichem in a gunu metachat vila peep that that they have the chizonim that are singing. Ain't the oil klal b'chlal Chetzel Hashem b'chlal l'chemu the concerts and the chizonim that are making fancy songs. That's not called Chetzel Hashem. It's on the chem. That's it, okay. Good, at least we are equal on that part in Chabad. Chabad alone, we have no stresses. Still, if you look at the Simen Reish Pei Ches, so basically, Api Alocha really every Yom Tov has to be Chetz El Hashem and Chetz El Hachem. So even though Rebbe Lezer said that there's something special on Chag HaShavuos, Lamai said every Yom Tov, is the same. You have to have chetzil Hashem, chetzil Hashem. However, there is a difference. Look in Simon in the fourth, third paragraph. Simon reish peches in Hilcha Shabbos din tainis midin tainis chol on b'Shabbos sif aleph. What's the altar to say? Tzorich l'mar lechol soif shoshishi shos l'sanas b'Shabbos chetzoyis. You have to make sure to try to eat before chetzoyis on, on, on the day of Shabbos. I feel like I'm scavenging the shomtanis of the shenim the machmas oskub the varacha filo dvar mitzvah and shikoyim as well also. Not allowed to. People have complaints here that we should daven a little longer. But Shabbos, you really have to supposed to be for chatzos make kiddush. Unless a person really the, the, to, uh, doesn't want to make kiddush because he really is not in the mood of eating, he wants to start later. Or he's a person that it, when he's davening is such pleasure that the pleasure of davening is better than the pleasure of eating. So then he's allowed to daven like the chassidim. Not so many people. That the chassidim that daven the hours, hours after chassidim. Who told yeah. me the story about the, the, one of the chassidim that daven right. too much and it says the Yetzirah is with them. Oh, that the Alter Rebbe that told them that uh, other people did. Yeah. Oh, I said the story yeah, the other day. Mimis kam on the Shem Tainas. I feel the Shorach has also, if a person wants to fast, even one hour is not allowed to fast. Can't declare it as a fast day. Adam shachil mazek esloy. A person that the food is and the eating is not good for him. Shaz oyni guloy shloy lechol. Ain't zorik lechol klal. He doesn't have to eat it all. Kamatcha also loy lechol. It's almost also for him to eat in Shabbos. Shloy tzar b'Shabbos not have tzar. V'chem misha misarna b'chol yom. A person that fasts every day. V'chilu b'Shabbos for whatever reason. V'chilu is going through medical treatment or whatever. V'chilu b'Shabbos tzar loy neshin avesis because when a person you change your schedule. If you're always eating a lot and then you start eating very little drastically, or any drastic change is very dangerous for the body. So every day he doesn't eat, and Shabbos is going to eat a big fat chunk, it's dangerous. So the Yochel Hassan has gone to Shabbos, he's allowed to fast on Shabbos. The whole point of Suda Shabbos is not to eat, to have pleasure. But otherwise, you're not allowed to fast on Shabbos. Even though if a person wants to do it, because of doing tshuva or midas chasidus, afal pisha yesh loy tainuk b'tainu zeh. Even though he enjoys the fasting because he's doing tshuva or he feels like a big chosid, 
A person shouldn't say, oh, you know what Chacham said, they should eat three sugas, uh, but that's the pleasure of Shabbos. My pleasure is fasting. No, a person shouldn't try to be a Chacham and change the pleasure of Shabbos. Chazal said it should be three sugas, it should be three sugas. The other pleasure doesn't have to be in Shabbos. He could have the pleasure of fasting on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Comes in, make it a mutter. So, when is it mutter to fast on Shabbos? If he's physically going to get sick, or it's just just a it's a it's a swing in schedule. That week he's been fasting all week but, for whatever uh, reason. Uh, uh, oh no, but they, they, they don't, yeah, I mean, fasting as far as fasting, we know that they never used to barely eat. And fast on Shabbos. We know that the Rebbe didn't eat the Sudas yeah, Kugel. So he had a little bit of this yeah, on the Yeah, a little cake. Taste, but he didn't, didn't okay. eat anything. He ate marble cake. No, yeah, but he must have gone inside He ate a kazayas of marble cake. That's all. I might have to dominate, and that's then we had a Mabrangian, and that's yeah. it. That was it. One kazayas of marble cake. And he was drinking only wine or water. He had kiddush and kazayas of marble cake. He had the sudas. He had the sudas. He had the kazayas of marble cake. He didn't have the kazayas of marble cake. He didn't go with the program. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've tried. <laughs> I tried That's even to stay up. I stay up the most I did is 30, uh, 48 hours, 50 hours. But the, the functionality is is out. I mean, yeah, they like call that, it overstress the mind. But he can't control it anymore, the same same strength. And he could be up. Uh, oh, okay, for, okay, yeah, okay, for Friday this. night, they never didn't sleep. Didn't we sleep. Only. My friend, when and then I was, the rest of the week is only one hour here, one hour there. And when I was in the army, was serving intelligence while underground, was working eight hours, go to sleep eight hours, and I have to come back for eight hours. A shift. But was a lot of thing happening, so I stay eight hours and eight hours, five eight hours I stay and I collapse. They yeah, have to bring a helicopter to take me to the back hospital. Wow. But when you're young, you could do more, I think, when you were young. No, but the Rebbe was not. No, no, that was the Rebbe. The Rebbe could be in the army. Friday night. That type of... Friday night. Friday night. Six, seven shifts. Avo, muta lesanas, tainis cholom b'shavas. Oh, someone just mentioned. So you're allowed to fast a tainis cholom b'shavas. Shecholom, boy, 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 if you had a dream, that was a terrible dream. Fasting for a bad dream is like a fire for, for, for straw. It's a, it's a really good. Because it's very good for him. Because there's no really bitl on Shabbos. Because he feels terrible because of his dream. So he's enjoying the fasting. But still, he gets punished because what he means. So he he has to pass another. It's the fast. However, the Alter Rebbe says later in Hilchas Yomtev. In Simon Tov Tzadik Dalitz, if you trace the last paragraph on the sheet, also lezanas tanis cholim b'chag hashvuas. When it comes to shvuas, it's also. Fishayim shenit nabei toyda, b'tzorich lech l'avalitzmoyach boy. Lahad is to show shenoyach amukubal yisrael liim shenit nabei toyda, to show that it's very precious to us this day that we had the toyda. L'vikich ena doyma l'shor shiyom tov v'shabbos shemuta lezanas b'am tanis cholim k'moshen of b'amar simah and reish peiches. So it comes out the bottom line. That even though we said all this, that all Yomim Toivim and all Shabbosim are equal, yeah. you're not allowed to fast. But still, there's something unique about Chag Hashvus. Because a regular Shabbos for Yom Tov, it's mutter to fast, the time is Cholom. But when it comes to Chag Hashvus, it's also to fast, the time is Cholom and Chag Hashvus. So the question that I've asked is a simple question. Why do we celebrate Pesach, the Ebeshter took us out of slavery? Gashmi is protection. Why do we sit in the Sukkah, Chag HaSukkah, the Ebeshter protected us with Kanani HaKovid? Gashmi is the protection. If a person wants to fast the Tainas Cholom, he's allowed to. And then we say if a person wants to dedicate a whole day for learning and not to eat, so there's opinion that you're allowed to do it. It's not a locha, but there's opinion you're allowed to do it. But when it comes to... Chag HaTzeres, Shavuz, Hakl Moedim. Everyone's Moedim, the Be'in and Amen Lachem. And so, why? And the, and, and the truth is a nice thing, the, the, uh, 
nice word in the Lomdus from the Chesvas Amos. Chesvas Amos says in the in the Gemara that Mar Bred Ravina three days in the year, the only days he ate. He fasted 365 days a year. When was the days that he ate? Erev Yom Kippur, because that eating is as good as fasting. Okay. Put him. Okay. And then Shavuos, well, he says, I don't understand. La Halocha, La Halocha, all days are equal. La Halocha, we paskin that you have to have chatzit lechem, chatzit lechem, and all Shabbos, all Yom Tov. So he says like this, that all Shabbos and Yom Tov, there's no mitzvah to eat. There's a mitzvah to have pleasure. Most people have pleasure through eating and drinking. So Chazal said you have to eat and drink. But to Mar Berei de Ravina, it was a much bigger pleasure to fast. So therefore he fasted in every Shabbos and Yom. How big but, it was, that's a question. But it was a very big pleasure for him to fast. Yeah, but he was big. He was big. Uh, he, he, he was big because uh, you know, they say that it wasn't big from food. Yeah, exactly, big. like Rabnachim Chernobyl. Yeah. But these three days, there's not a chiv to have pleasure. It's a chiv to eat. By Purim it says, he may mishta v'simch. And if you keep it, it's to eat and drink. Also here on, yeah, on, on, on the day of Man Torah, there's a chiv to eat and drink. So therefore, the other days he was able to fast, because he said, there's no chiv to eat. Chazal said, there's a mitzvah of kovid v'oinig on every Shabbos and every Yom Tov. It's just that every Yom Tov is a little more chiv, and therefore there's a chiv, there's an actual specialty to have wine and meat. Now, Tereba holds wine as men you're supposed to have a revius of wine every day, even in Cholamoyed. The two days of Shuas, you have to have a revius of wine every one of the days, okay? And meat is special to have a Yom Tov, to have a meal of meat, a Yom Tov. A Shabbos, uh, it's not special to have meat per se, unless, for most people, meat is Choshev. What about the Lechem? Lechem is an obligation. An obligation. The Suda. The Suda. There is brought in the Alter Rebbe in the bottom that he's in his, uh, in his old age. He said that uh, you could do with possible bekistin. You could be yoitzel with cake also, not only with bread. But cake is instead of the but bread. A, but, but it has to be bread eat, is a meal. When you're eating the meat, it's like a, a happy occasion. Basically. Right. It's happy. It's happy. So, so why is it? The question is that truest we have to eat. And when it comes to Pesach, when it comes to Sukkot, where the miracle was a physical miracle, if a person wants to celebrate it spiritually, there's an opinion you're allowed to do it. Tainus Cholom is allowed to fast. And when it comes to the most spiritual day, which is Matan Torah, then we say you're not allowed to fast. So then we say you're mukhuyiv to eat. So all Yom Torah is mukhuyiv to have pleasure. That's a hechetim through eating. But here, when it comes to Chag, Ashu is Matan Torah, it's a chiv to eat and to drink. Why? That's the Rebbe Shana. Why is it a chiv to eat and to drink? You answered it. I didn't answer it. A little. Yeah, why? He said, what's the whole thing? Asher Bachabana. Asher Bachabana, they tell me, like, we give the Torah, the, the Ikan Hasidus, the biggest thing is that we're using our physical goof. By using uh -huh. a physical, a materialist thing to bring up to that level, that's one of the essential parts okay. of receiving the Torah. Okay. Well, so before we get to the Torah, it's another, another point, which is, why really is it that Chazal would convey that Shabbos should be eating and drinking? The Torah never says to eat and drink a Shabbos and Yom Tov. The Torah says to have pleasure. Chum said the pleasure should be through... It says, COVID and Oynik. No, Chazal yeah. said that the, the COVID and the oinik should be through fancy fish, good vegetables, meat and wine. Every Shabbos and Yom Tov they said even more, you should try to have meat and wine. Why? why? Why is it? Why can't it be a person, we said, we said here, a person could have a tainus cholom, or a person that it's dangerous for them to eat, or uh, so they, but a person that wants to fast from Midas Chassidus is not allowed to. And even a person who fasts Tainas Cholom, he has to do Tshuva. He has to fast Shabbos for the Cholom, and has to fast Sunday for fasting in Shabbos. Well, it doesn't have to be so, Sunday, another day. Yeah. Better Sunday, it could yeah, be another day another also. Day. Yeah, yeah. So, the Shabbos is, is, why did Chacham make it this way? The Torah never said you have to eat. The Torah said you have to have pleasure. Chacham said, no, but we want you should eat. The true, most people, they enjoy eating and drinking. 
But why did Chacham say that everyone has to eat and drink? And what's if this person from Mitzvah Chassidus enjoys better to fast? I'd say no. And a person has a Tanis Chom, okay, you fast, but you have to fa the fast for a day for your fast. Why? What's the Indian? So uh, the Emma says that Shalom was, was Mechavan, that the uh, uh, Pshat is according to Chassidus, that, uh, that the Neshama doesn't need any Tikkun, the Neshama is perfect. The Neshama is absolutely perfect. The Neshama comes to purify the Guf. And the purpose is that the Guf should have Kedusha. So the Oinig of Shabbos and Yom Tev has to touch the Guf. The Guf doesn't understand so much the Yehudi Eloah. The Guf understands Blintzes. Physical. Blintzes, oh, the Guf knows that language. So therefore, Oinig Shabbos has to touch to the lowest place in the person. Why isn't it the whole purpose, in, if we're talking about Chassidus, the whole purpose of Shavuos is to have it begashmi, it's not only beruchni. It's not, that's, that, that's, I'm saying is, besides the fact that we have to do it through, I'm saying in the whole idea, even though you know, like for example, the Rebbe, the Chassidim, know what the purpose of of, food, of the food, the food is, so they still, they should eat the food even though they, they get pleasure of davening because the idea is doing it through physical, not that through oh, davening. So my question is why really the Rebbe didn't, you know, uh, he, he, uh, eat that much? Why was it only a, one piece of... Um, <laughs> I, yes, and I, 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 it's also, it's becoming a, a, a thing in the body, the body uh, pushes you're, away the, the food. That that I understand, but I think over here it's a different uh, different reason. The body itself, once in a, you get to a point that you're not eating the food, it doesn't drive you. It doesn't you don't have the tire to eat like you know the the, 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 the food the fast used to eat the, the mar margarine like this and then take a piece of bread with it. You know? Right, exactly. So I'm saying taking out the taste out of it, there's no interest. I understand, but I'm saying is and a normal chassid when you when you read this and you're thinking about being so extreme on the other side. Then you're feeling like the purpose. What the purpose? The purpose is is actually eating. Not even not even the part. Even though you know the part that is the whole purpose is enjoying the yamta, but the food itself is the chiyuv of actually eating, like you said. But it's, the purpose is that you still need to do. Like we always need to do the whole purpose of chassidus that we have to do. My that is like, you know, it's the same thing. What is the difference? So why, what is the difference Shavuos and any other Yom Tov? Oh, so we get to this in a second. So it's still the same. Mm -hmm. We get to in a second. But another, another question. It doesn't say that Chalomot Shav Yidaberu. So how come you need Tanit Chalom and all this? The, the rabbi said Chalomot Shav Yidaberu. Every Chalom, it's nonsense. No, no, but it's certain it depends. Uh, depends which dreams. If somebody has a dream, they, they lose their teeth. It's a bad dream. Right. But if they lose their jaw, it's a good dream. That I don't know about. <laughs> I, 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 so you have to that. know. Seeing a snake eating you alive. You have to yeah. know. So you some, need long some, life. Some, that's, that's some, a, some <laughs> dreams <laughs> seem, seem benign and they're bad. Some dreams are seem right. scary and they're very good. So the, the general thing is that if a person was thinking about something by day and then he dreamt by night, night. that's not a tiny school. That's we, nothing. We learned this. We learned to give one yeah, of the brachas. If a person knows for sure that he wasn't thinking by day of this stuff, and all of a sudden, no connection, it's a mam shesimen min he didn't think about it by day. The deja vu. It's a, you know what the deja vu is? That one day you see a person and you see the whole that, that you, comes you back see, it, much it later. Says, it says that you slept at night and you saw this in a vision, in a, in a, in a deja vu. A kangu, deja vu. But the pshat here really but is it's really by a cholam. That's it's not that way. It's something he way. never thought about, and all of a sudden no. it came into his dream. Not deja vu. Something deja vu there. means that you dreamt about it and then you real see it in life. You see it after in the future, <laughs> meaning you dreamed about it. The situation like the occur, the this <laughs> happened in the past, no, but, but uh, it happened in the past. The is talking about Faket, it never happened, never nothing, and he never thought about it, and all of a sudden he saw a dream, and it's a bad dream, so for that he has to fast. But as you know, what does he know is a, it's a bad dream? So he can ask, his, 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 his local competent Orthodox rabbi will let him know <laughs> <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a Tainus Cholom dream or not. So the Rebbe is Zakta Moira de Kevort, that out the Rebbe says, that what's Golas? Golas is like a dream. So the Alter Rebbe says why? Because in a dream, 
person, things that don't make sense happens. The person <coughs> walk out of his door, he's in Australia. He's in a boat, he's driving on the Avenue J. He's in a plane, and he's under the ocean. A person could be alive and not alive in one minute apart. So, like, is amazing. It doesn't make sense. But because the Koyach HaSeichel is not functioning, so the Koyach HaMedama is running wild. When a person uh, is, is awake, he can't hallucinate because a oh, normal person. Because the brain puts, puts his imagination in check. But when the person is sleeping, the brain is not functioning. And the Koyach HaDimyan is like running wild. So when Ayid is in the days of Mashiach, in the days of Geula, the days of Beis HaMikdosh, there's absolute clarity. But when Tam Begolos, Ayid could be a big Esoiridus, wow! He's so excited and he sees clarity. He sees that there's Enid Movadar, there's Eibishter, and this is the way I'm going to make a Achlot Toiva. this is the way the day is going to go, and this is the way the week is going to go, and this is the way the year is going to go. <coughs> a few hours go by, nothing. nothing. What happened? Like the story with the Rambam and the other scientists. They said, the first nature, second nature is the same thing. He said, eh, second nature is not as good as the first nature. So they trained the cat, and the cat came in with a tray, and it was serving the teas and serving little desserts. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the Rambam took out a mouse and threw it. And all of a sudden, the cat with the tuxedo and the tie and outs and the whole tray went flying. <laughs> all the china went splattering <laughs> and running for the mouse. <clears throat> he said, you see, second nature is not the first nature. So here, we think that, uh, that, uh, that all of a sudden, we're malochim and we're dancing with the angels. We're so, we're so clear and so lucid about path in life. We make a achlota. And sometimes it's Yom Kippur, we're standing at the oil. It's a moment, a special moment in life. A few hours later, what happened? That's a cholom. How could opposites exist? So who am I? So who am I really? The person has a shalom says, the Alter Rebbe would be discouraged. Say, I'm, 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 I'm deceptive, I'm lying to myself. This is totally incongruent. This, uh, 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 here I have these ugly machshav here I have these beautiful thoughts. So who am I? So... The Alter says it's a dream, because in Golos this can happen. It really could happen. So when a yid is in Golos, so the Tainus Cholim, the, the 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 whole thing that a person could fast on Shabbos is a whole the the whole alocha comes from Tainus Cholim. Why is it? The Rebbe says because it's to be meramis a regular the body of a Jew, the holiness of Shabbos. Because Chazal said that the holiness of Shabbos should go from head to toe, that we should it should touch into the blintzes. So a person should naturally, the, even though he doesn't want to eat on Shabbos, that all of a sudden the goof should want to eat on Shabbos because the neshama, like the neshama yeshayda, should shine so strongly into him that he wants to eat. How could it come that he doesn't want to eat on Shabbos? Chacham said that we want you to the holiness of Shabbos should touch into your plate. Kiddush Suda. We want the holiness to go into your plate. Not only the holiness should be in the atalas. We want the holiness to be in your in your cholt and in your kugel. So how come this person doesn't want to do what Chacham say? Because he's not aligned. He's a tiny scholem. The, the whole thing is that the him is... Why the Torah has to tell the Havdul ben Atome ben Atome? If it's Tome, it's, this is Torah, why would you have to... Obviously Tome is bad and Torah is good. But when a person is dreaming, so a person could get a little submission. So the Torah lowers itself down, even for a Jew who's in a situation of a tainas cholam, that a yinu kachalman to help him out, because maybe the, for this Jew right now eating is not good. He needs to fast. So the Torah says, you know what? Let him fast, because that's what he needs right now. He needs to fix his spirituality, and then he could shine down to his physical part, because if he's just going to be eating the the kugel and the chont, he'll going to get lost in the chont. And he's going to get lost in the kugel, and the shom is not going to shine there. Like the story with the uh, right of Hashem Tev. Then he showed the Talmud, and he brought them to the window, and then they closed their eyes, and they saw this guy was eating as Oy Shabbos, Lokovet Shabbos Kandish, and they saw it was an ox in a mm-hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. That they saw it spiritually, what he is. He was he was so eating like a cow. <coughs> because I'll say three things a person is like the Malachi Ashores, and three things is like a cow. Three things like Malachi Shores, he stands upright, 
and he has a day of seichel, and he speaks plush and koydish like the angels. So three things is like a cow. And one of the three things is like a cow is he eats. And this guy was so into his food, so the Rebbe Marash tells the story in the Mother <coughs> that they could see that what he looked like a human being, but spiritually he was so into his kugel that he was like a cow. So, but he was wearing a streimel. Va streimel loy nishtana. They could see the streimel stayed a streimel. It's a begged Shabbos. The streimel, even when they saw the, the, that, that spiritual vision that he looked like a cow, the streimel still looked like a streimel. The streimel loy nishtana. So it happens that, that this whole thing could happen from a tiny scholem. This happens from a tiny scholem. A Torah has to help such a yid that's, that's grappling with Tainus Cholom. His life is incongruent. So therefore they said, you know what, let's focus on the spiritual now. Let's fast. And then let's try to eat next Shabbos. Let's, no. let, let's try to do it. But Shuas is different. You know the story with the Shpala Zayda? Shpala Zayda said that when he was three years old, they brought him to the Vashemta. Vashemta put his hand on the, on the child's heart. Ufunyem Oton is Mevarim. He always felt warm to another Jew. Why? Because he said that once the Hashem put his hand on my heart, for the rest of my life, they bring a Yom Yom, that Mekan, that Nua, Tzadik, Kol Shekei, and the Iyeh, Shmiya, that was Zeichem, wants to be in front of a Tzadik. Even a baby. Zeichem, to be a baby. To get Kol Shekei from a Tzadik. But so, it's still not the same. So, uh, so it has to be poiled for the entire life. So the Shpul Azeda came to him, and they lived in a little town, and they said the Poritz is just getting crazy and crazy and crazier. So in the winter, he goes to the big city, he has a palace, he doesn't bother anyone. In the summer, it's good weather, he comes to the countryside. And over there, there's a couple of Jews, a half a dozen Jews. And once one is working, <coughs> is fishing, and one is farming, and one is a Kretschma. They're working and they're paying rent. But he is nuts. The guy is crazy and he's sadistic. So he makes a party and he invites two Jews have to ba- dance in front of his friends, the Pritzim. Yeah, the battle, and in this the one, the Beralach, and this, he's just crazy. And the latest thing is, there's a Jewish girl, she's engaged. He says the night before the Chupayas, they come, come to, his, to, his, to his mansion. What should we do? Shmuel take it easy. This is what you should do. Tell them about Shavuos. Shavuos says, tell them about the blintzes. Tell them about the cheesecake. It's good stuff. Tell them you want to invite them to celebrate with you Shavuos. It's a really once in a year. It's only one day a year. It's a very special celebration. And he's going to want to come, for sure. He's looking for what to do. He's bored. He's looking for entertainment. And you don't have a minion. I know usually, if you go into the big city, I'm going to come with a Sefer Torah. And if you tell me them, we'll have a minion. And you f- pick a hilltop around the, somewhere around your town, and you bring out a couple of benches and a, an abima, and I'm going to bring a sefer Torah, and it's going to be a shul. And you tell the part it's the time and place, and he can come, and they tell him he's going to be really entertained. It's going to be a nice party. So the Eden went to a part it's, part it's here is a party, entertainment, a Jew. Yeah, so there'll be a big Jew that's coming. And they tried to describe the Shpodo Zayda. He was tickled pink. Hey, he called a couple of his friends. He said, this is this, this day in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, hilltop. We're going to have a good time. Chesh bin of the Jews. So he didn't come there to Davin, and it's terrifying to see the part of standing with a couple of his friends. And uh, they put the talus over their heads, and they start Davin, the tech part is having a good time. You see Yidna shaking with Talaisim, and the Davining, and they're clapping, and they're singing. And the Poritz is laughing. He, is, he thinks it's the funniest thing you've ever seen. Comes time to Kriya Satoira, and Shpul is, he, he's laying. So he starts to lay, and all the Eden stand up, and I'll say that when we read it, it's as if it happened the first time. That's why they made a big campaign. We should bring all the children. So Chabad is making the ice cream parties oh, it's not a din in the ice cream it's a din in the seres adibris and that's why also based on the Mendel Baruch Hashem Be'ez is Hashem sponsored by uh, by Shnei Cohen. the Mitzvah Hashem will be a, a, if you know any Yiddish children they need encouragement 12 o'clock 
Yes. And Mitzvah Hashem, there's going to be the Aseris Adibris right after Kriyas Atoyra. Kids are going to go in the backyard, they'll say the Yudavis Psukim, and they're going to have ice cream. So, it's a big deal. The Rebbe said, that the Chazal tell us, that when you read, uh, the Ebesh the says, once a year come to the Beis HaKnesses, and listen to the Aseris Adibris, and Ma'ala and Yalechem, as if you were there the first time, and you went into... Huh? Where does it say? Where it's it? a Medrash yeah, so We were there. So, 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 so the Rebbe made a big deal out of this. It's a Mamish, it's a you know, Chazal it's say that you come every year and the Ebeshtik says that this is the first time. You can imagine by the Shepol that this is not just a Medrash Rabbah. By the Shepol that this is real. So when the Shepol Azeda started to read, the place was shaking. And the Eden were taking it in, they're standing. And the poets all of a sudden got the shakes. He started to, he got so terrified. He started to shake. Him and his friends were shaking and shaking. They couldn't stop. The entire Aseris Adibris. When the Aseris Adibris finished, then the Yidalach sat down. The poets got into his wagon and he disappeared. He went back home to his mansion and he couldn't shake off the shakes. He was, he was still trembling. So, uh, never mind the blintzes, uh, he forgot all about the blintzes, he's, he's shaking. He called for the Shpol to ask what's going on. Shpol said, well, this is the, I was reading the Ten Commandments. The Jews take it in. But you must be not, not following the Ten Commandments, <laughs> so that's why you're shaking. You promise you'll be nice to the Jews the sheikhs will leave. Otherwise, you'll be shaking for the rest of your life. <laughs> so the Pardis promised he'll be nice to the Jews, and the sheikhs had left him. So, come, come, uh, come, uh, come uh, this year, Mitzvah Shem Chagash as we hope that the whole world will feel it, will feel it. All the sheikhs should start shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and the Yiddelach, they'll take in. The Rebbe, the Rebbe said, that uh, Chazal tell us that was such a powerful voice was Kol Godel Velo Yosef that there was no echo. echo. So Moira the Kavort from the Rebbe. This is one of the what classics of uh, yeah. So the Rebbe says well, that, that's so powerful of a voice. There's no echo. How does that show it's a powerful voice because there's no echo? Because it was actually like in front of you. No, so you so the Rebbe's word says no because right oh, it doesn't. When you have put uh, in a room, if you put carpets in the wall, there's no echo. When is the echo? When it hits off something hard. If you have rock resistance. Otazai. So then it bounces off. So we say when it was Martin Toyda, Tsiperlego, Sherlego, Tsiperle Tsiftsev, that every animal took in the Sarasadibris, they felt it, the Kedusha. Even the vegetables, even the Tsemech felt it. So Chazal say, even the Doimim, the rocks were like sponges. They took in. The coil godl of the Abish there, it was it didn't bounce off them. It went into them. They became carpets. They no took echo. it in. That's there why there was no echo. So Ebazoi is like the Rebbe that that's the pshat of Chagashvu is that's why Chassid says that uh, that Pesach and Sukkot is seven days or eight days because over there it's not it's it's you could chop it up into seven days eight days, but this is Kesset, oh. it's the crown. It's not it's not eight. It's one one day. So therefore, it's a gilu of a noichi Hashem alaykechos. The Gemara says, Ano nafshik savis yehovis. That a noichi is an acronym for four words. Ano nafshi savis yehovis. I gave myself. I delivered my essence in the Torah. So, when, what, what, what's a pshat? When, when the other Yom told him, it's a huge spiritual revelation. But there's a limitation. And it could be that a person, that their life is not congruent and therefore the nisham is not aligned with their body and therefore it's not shining in and uh, he has a tiny scholar but him his life is split and splintered and uh, he one day he's excited and one day it's not and it's sham is not shining in the goof <coughs> but that is only shy every shabbos and every yom Tev. when it comes to chaga shavuos which is a noich hashem lekecho koyo godav aleyosa even the rocks are taking in the Gilui. How is it possible that there should be a Tainas Cholam by a Jew? How is it possible that it shouldn't? Uh, it must take it in. 
It must take it in. Every yom tov, they could say, so that's why it could be a time. That's, that's why, why you, have time. you have to eat. And not only you have to eat and drink, but even if there was a, the tainus cholam, we say regular yom tov, there could be, but now he's not, he has no pleasure of eating and drinking. Because but he's not capable, he can't bring the Nagila of the Neshama into his goof. It's not working. What was the advantage that, that we got when the words of God entered into the creation of Because it gave us a head start in our Avoidus Hashem. That's what our job is. Our job is to bring godliness into the world. Right. So if it didn't go in, then we couldn't uh, then, do it. Then we couldn't do it, right? Because we failed it. We so, failed it. You feel the kedusha. It was like no. It was like you know. It was done once. When you do it once, so it's easier to do it a second time. The Abish showed us how to do it. It was done. The Abish did it. in the time of Mount Torah. So the Abish showed us that it's possible to do it. So once it was done, if something you do once, you could do it again. So the Abish showed us how to do it once. It was done by Mount Torah. So therefore, every other Yom Tev, it's possible to have a Tainus Cholom. It's not shining. The Neshama is not shining into the goof. So usually the Neshama has to shine so much from head to toe. It's not only that the Kedush is felt in the Talus, in the Davening. The Kedush is felt even in, in, this, in his Su'udah. The regular person, the pleasure of a human being is eating. Even a big Tzaddik that has pleasure from Omen Yehishmai Rabbah and from fasting... But that's not because that's naturally the body enjoys Omen Yehishmarab and fasting. Naturally the body enjoys french fries and, uh, and blintzes. But uh, because the neshama is so powerful, it crushes the instincts of the guf. But the point of Suda Shabbos V'yom is not to deny the guf. The guf should eat. And the guf should, you know, eat a normal meal, a good meal. And still it should be felt that it's Kedusha. It, can we also say that because the Kedusha is coming into the goof, that it's breaking the power of the goof? And it's not breaking, it's changing. It's changing, I mean. It's changing. changing it and, and it's changing it. So that it just should if a person is fasting, it's breaking it. When a person, it's like the Minak Chabad, is that Rebbe Rashab said, when it comes to Yom Kippur, a person has to feel pleasure from fasting. Not that it's... Just, just a fast. Him, just enjoy the, the moment. Enjoying it. Enjoy the I'm not sure. It. I'm not sure exactly how you do that. Before you eat, you know, when you're very hungry, that you have to imagine you good, you know, you that feel, you're like that, that you're understand every word. enjoying the fast so much that it, the fast is as good as eating. That's the minig chabad. Mom brought down as a minig. Yeah. So what are you supposed to do? I mean. Oh, you just, Why are you doing? You're, oh, oh, then you're gonna get to that level. <laughs> Not easy. Well, Not easy to be a Lubavitcher. I don't know why they think in these yeshivas that we're trying to... No one wants to be a Lubavitcher. You hear such minhagim, who wants to be a Lubavitcher? Uh, they look at the book and that's where they make the change. Uh, who wants to be such a, such a minig? It's very difficult. But the bottom line and is... That, by yeah? the way, this is the whole problem of being other... I'm not... I'm not what I'm saying is that other communities, and they make the Chabad is very, very weak in Yiddish guy. So the opposite, if you looked it closely, we have more obligations than any of these people. Exactly. Chitas, Rambam, all the... The Alter Rebbe lost 50,000 Chassidim when he wrote the Midas Amos Liyakim. Because the people said, oh, this guy is... Beard, oh, the beard. Yeah, the 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 beard. So exactly. Oh, yeah, lost a lot of the Yeah, 50,000 yeah. said he lost. Because he, got, he was uh, making it too hard to join the club. <laughs> the dues were too expensive. Like this guy, uh, what's it called? Mayra Lagos, right? Uh, he became president. All of a sudden, the dues went double. So uh, so the, the Alter Rebbe's dues for, for to joining the club is too much. So 50,000 people the said... The Rebbe just the opposite. He bought in thousands. Oh, the Rebbe was mine. No, no, no. do both. Uh, the the Rebbe, the Rebbe, Rebbe it's, but, but, but it's different. The Bart, here's the Bart. If you really want to consider yourself a chassid, you, you're, you're really maybe not. The, the Rebbe said, uh, my, my, my father had a, a chassid and a half. And my husband has none. none. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> so we, have to, we have to change this. We have to change that. <laughs> they said so the Ash is a little bit A lot of people see them, the Brahma, the Meg Gayrim, they all left Yitzhak, but Yitzhak was the poor. But this is too much. The story of Jacobson, with the guy from Massachusetts, I know, I know the person who served away. Did you hear the story? No, it was about the Rebbe says to do. The Rebbe came out from the He wants you to do Chitas Rambam, then he wants you to go home to Soyim. Very warm and stuff. Then, and then you have to do more important matters. Every day is another one. Yeah, the Rebbe had a good one. And then you should Mendo, make a so friend uh, every uh, single birthday. Uh, the Rebbe had a name before he became a Rebbe. There's not enough time in the day. The Rebbe started with the Rambam. The Rebbe came out and he said the whole story. And he asked. He had a question. He went with and the then, top of the and then this and then, every and he's trying to carve one of the for Hira davening he was trying to carve him to daven but the rest of that the slept and came to the rest and said that they, it was well, not really the, the way you know it's very hard to be a possible you know let them be where they are we shouldn't uh, try to want get them closer so because it, it, somehow it's supposedly um ruin the the good food you know if you bring out from the outside See, what did the Friedrich Rebbe? You gotta see that video that in Jacobson is telling the whole story. It's amazing. People can cry from it. And then he explained how the Friedrich Rebbe gave him an example of a child, of children, and the parents, and mother and father, how loving and caring for every child. Yeah, you get the first child, the love and care for them, and even another child, they care for the same way. And they have, the love is the same. But what happens if all well, the third child it has a small injury, he cannot walk. Now the parents have extra love for the ones that's handicapped. The ones that they're good, they're fine, they're good, they love them. But the one that has the, the difficult part, they have extra love for them. So it's the same thing about it now. Uh, so here we all have some handicap. That's where the, the Ebish, the love is. More. Good luck, so you gotta listen to this, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I hear from you. Every good no, thing I need to hear. Sure. He he okay, so let's be Messiah. The time is short. I am caught, sir. So that's the time. That's the in the kude of what we learn from here. That it comes. It comes. It comes. Chagashvuis. It's what's so special about the blintzes of Chagashvuis. Because every Yom Tov, every Shabbos we have to eat in order to bring the Kedush of the Neshama down from the head to the toe. But it's possible that a person should be a Yinuk Chalman on a regular Shabbos and a regular Yom Tov. But when it comes to Chag HaShvuiz, which is the Keser, which is a Noichi Nafshi, a Non Nafshi Ksavis Yehovis, with Koil Godel Vila Yosef, it has to penetrate. If it's bleak Vul, if it's so powerful, it, there's no place where it stops. It has to penetrate from head to toe. It's not possible to say that Eid has a tainus cholim and therefore his neshama can't shine into his goof. And it comes a chag it, it must shine by every Eid from head to toe. Now we understand why dafka chag is every yom tev zachiv to have oinek, not necessarily to eat and drink. Because okay, oinek, but it has to dafka to eat and drink. But dafka when it comes to chag is there's a chiv to eat and drink, and that's why the Yiddish Rebetzins made a special thing to bring to bring the dvash shechol of tachas l'shoinach to develop a minute to have cheesecake